Two more women come forward accusing singer R. Kelly of sexually assaulting them after a concert. CBS 2's Megan Hickey has more about the encounter, one they say happened when they were teenagers. Latrice Scaff and Rochelle Washington say this photo was taken in 1995 when they were 16 and 15 years old. They're posing with LL Cool J, who was performing with R. Kelly at a concert in Baltimore. At the after party, Mr. Kelly pointed to us and talked to his security. He said to put us on the stage. Now 40, Scaff recounted the details of that night during a press conference this afternoon. She says they were offered alcohol and marijuana and were led to a hotel room. They say Kelly entered the room with his genitals exposed and asked both teens to perform sex acts. He then had sexual intercourse with me, even though I did not have the capacity to consent. Allred said Kelly never asked their ages, but neither teen was in a state to consent. She said the women shared their stories with friends and relatives at the time of the incident, and they would both be willing to testify under oath. They are willing to face their fear. Meanwhile, attorney Michael Avenatti tweeted today that the alleged video evidence involving an underage girl with Kelly that he recently turned over to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office is not connected to Allred's clients. Today, movers loaded a truck with garbage bags outside R. Kelly's West Loop recording studio. Kelly's attorney, Steve Greenberg, says he's moving out after a housing court judge limited his access. Here's how he responded last night to questions about a possible indictment in Cook County. I, I'm not, not going to comment on what goes on at a grand jury, that it, it would be improper for me to comment on that. It would actually be a, a violation of the rules, and I don't know what Mr. Avenatti thinks he has or, or doesn't have. Now, Greenberg has not yet responded to the new allegations from Allred's client. Allred said she believes that there is currently an open federal investigation into allegations against R. Kelly. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York told us today that he could neither confirm nor deny that that is the case. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.